All right, guys, let's go up here and get some bait out of the old bait cooler. Oh, what have we got in there? Big old sack of chicken. We love some chicken here on the fishing boat. We also got some white perch in here. Snatch me one of those suckers out. I'm gonna be smart and use a net. I'm never smart. I never use a net and I end up chasing these suckers around me. It takes too long. It takes some time along with a net too. Come here, sucker. Nice white perch. We're doing the same as we do in a lot of these videos, guys. We got some white perch, some cut bait. We're gonna put out three rods. Those will be on the Hellcat rods. And we're putting chicken on the big cat fever, medium light trolling rods. We're gonna see what's in here. Let's go three big chunks on this. Let's take a head section, cut the tail off, and let's cut this off here. Seeing what we got here, like I said, I'm gonna put these out evenly. It's the way I fish them all the time, guys. I'll put out my cut baits, my bigger baits. And then, and these are fresh baits, you can tell. They were still swimming a few minutes ago. And then, I put out my chicken. So it's a fair comparison as to what works. Big chunks of cut bait there. And we're doing some drifting. We got a very light breeze today, hardly any wind and temperatures are starting to warm up at least in the water this morning it's chilly got about 64 degree water here probably climb up even higher today putting some planer boards on some of the bcat boards gonna get a good spread of lines here cover a good swath of water and just see what's in here we're kind of working up toward the bank not super close but closer than we were fishing a month ago all right guys we got one going right here on the chicken bait man said chicken bait been dragging about 20 minutes that's a bite i don't think it's a giant but it's a good fish, happy to have one. You know what I miss about having my long hair and my ponytail? My head was warmer. My head gets cold now. It's gonna warm up nice today though. I think it's gonna be up in the 70s before it's over with. Little chilly this morning, but this is springtime fishing. It's gonna get better and better. Nice blue, get down, get down. I don't mean get down like boogie, get down like down. Let's work him up here. Nice and easy. Boom, boom. He is. Pretty fish. Got a little mud. Well, you got mud on you, big piggy. Boom, got him. Simmer down. That's my phone going off, not your phone. So, y'all don't, if you're reaching for your phone going, I'm trying to listen to Dieter Melhorn fishing and my phone's going off. That's my phone. All right, let's get him out of hooked here. Hook got all kinds of twisted in there. Pop loose, pop loose, boom. Poop and muscle juice everywhere. Oh, flapping it in my face too. Belly full of muscles. You can feel them rolling around in there. It's a good fish. They're eating them. That's probably why they're hitting the chicken. See if there's more. Stinks. All right, guys, there's fish number one in the boat. Like I said, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, uh, I've been pulling through here on chicken. So as I said, we got the cut bait out on one side, fresh cut bait too, really fresh. And we got the chicken, that one came on chicken. So I uh, pulled up, I'm um, in about probably 22 to 25 feet of water, halfway close to the bank. Just kind of seeing if some of this stuff is pulling up here a little bit shallower. Like I said, it's chilly this morning. It was in the 40s, but the actual water temperature is up in the 60s. We're gonna have some warm days. It's gonna get, we just had a cold snap here a few days. Looks like they're feeding on mussels, judging from some of the stuff that's in the floor that came out of that thing. That's that old liquidy, dark colored mussel looking kind of stuff. I think that's what they're feeding on. I think that's why the uh, chicken works so well. So if you've got aquatic snails, mussels, wherever you're at, catfish feed on them. They eat them. They love them. And uh, there's stuff in them they like. And uh, even though these are invasive species, especially the Asiatic clams, they're not native to here. Just like the blue catfish are not native to these waters. They'll eat them. That's the one thing about animals. They find protein 
and whatever that protein is uh, and those amino acids and everything else that they want, they will find it. Their body, if they, you know, that's what they're able to seek out. And uh, that's why they eat these things. That's why they eat chicken. I know there's not chicken in the water, but normally where these blue catfish come from, there's not normally mussels either. They were the Asiatic clams. So, so yeah, they're able to find these nutrients. That's the thing about animals. They have the ability to figure this stuff out that we don't. Get this bait back in the water, see if we can get on another one. Boom, I just got this rod out. And Pinky's going. There we go. I was still letting some line roll out. Another one on chicken. Based on what I seen on that last fish. With all the juice in the boat. In here on some mussels. I think they're in here on a mussel bed eating. Get this board off of here. Boom. That's all right. We will take that all day long. Shook. Another fish similar size. I swear it's not the same fish, guys. Not the same fish. Not the same fish. A little faker. A little bigger. A little upgrade. Little upgrade. Bang. Oh, bang. This one is a fatty. There we go. Look at fish. Fatty, fatty two by four. That's the thing gonna weigh. Dang, 13 pounds. Snuck up on me with its size. We'll take that. Got some mud on it back in there boom there you go it took no time to put that second fish in the boat uh, matter of fact the line was still going out on the rod i just got another piece of bait and got it out the uh the second rod went over uh, a little bit bigger than i thought the fish was right at 13 pounds uh, i thought it was a little bit smaller than that he's probably got two pounds of uh, mussels in his belly there was a lot of them in there it's what they're feeding on so it's what's working got some more chicken back out that one came on old pinky pinky's out of uh back from rehab and uh back out fishing uh that one's on the planer board the first one's on the line straight out the back nothing on the cut bait yet i know something's gonna eat it eventually but nothing so far keep dragging uh again that one came to in about yeah still back in that 25 foot range so a little bit deeper but we're still closer to the bank away from the river channel there seemed to be almost a thermocline pocket out there it looked like some colder water possibly uh, a little bit further out toward the river channel and once i got away from that i started seeing fish uh, i don't think it's a dead pocket i think it's there i just noticed it there when you got into a contrasting area to some warmer more water so i think some of these fish are pulled up a little bit closer to the bank there's a lot more perch over here i've caught a couple perch on my perch rod and uh there just seems a little bit a little more bait over in this area so keep dragging see what we can get next guys i think this is going yes 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 he's on there hooked up again come on there we go there we go might have oh i think i'm in that line am i in that one let's see i've either got one going on this hellcat rod or i'm into the line Let's see. Yeah, I may be pulling that line. Yep, I am. That's all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, I think I'm pulling that line to us. I always hate dragging another line. It's a recipe for disaster. And pop, nothing pops a hook out of a mouth like getting wrapped into another one of your lines. That's my phone going off again. I need to put it on vibrate. It's not your phone you ever do that i'll be sitting there watching a video somebody's phone goes off and i reach for mine yeah. that's mine if you hear it ping so we got here this fish every one of them so far yeah he's on that line another nice fish Getting over to this side of the boat. Okay. 
Come here, baby. Shoot. You got all in that line. Come on, come on, come on now. Come on, baby. A lot of mud. A lot of mud. What's that one way? I'm just curious. Just curious. That's about a 10 pound fish. There we go. Good fish. A lot of mud on them. Nice and warm, too. Get it back. Alive. All right, guys, there's number three in the boat. Another one on chicken. Again, I don't use big pieces of chicken, guys. Uh, matter of fact, that's kind of on the big side for what I use. The chicken works just fine in smaller pieces. The thing about big bait, big fish, the, it, it, it's a great way to eliminate little fish. If you're using a big bait, that's a great way to eliminate little fish if you're just trying to catch big fish. But let me say this, there are times when these fish only want to eat small stuff. Don't know why that is. Maybe it's a match the hatch kind of thing. Maybe it's uh, fish brain operates different than ours does and just getting stuffed, eating too much, what your body can process. Who knows what the deal is? We got three rods over here with big baits, okay? That 13 pound fish could have ate any of those baits. Those are fresh baits, fresh cut bait from this lake. These are fish that are in this lake. If you wanted to go by the argument of use bait that's in your lake, it's what's on there. Why are they not eating it? Who knows? Who knows what the reason is? They're eating chicken for some reason. They're eating small pieces of chicken. This ain't big pieces of chicken. This ain't something that's in this lake. For some reason, there's something that is different about the way they think and what they feed on than what we tried to connect and assign to them with our human mentality and, and vision of it. So, bottom line is, we're catching fish. We caught three. I'm happy. It's a beautiful day on the water. And maybe we'll catch one more. All right, guys, I think we got us an eater on Pinky. I was wondering, we're dragging through a stump field. And I was wondering if that one was hung. We had a couple of them go back like they were hanging. But this one went back like it was eating. We'll take that, baby. Take that. Again, it's on chicken. Don't tell nobody. But it's on chicken. We got us some KSC on here, baby. I'm trying to get a sponsorship of KSC. Maybe Chick-fil-A. That'd be a good one there. I need Chick-fil-A to sponsor my chicken boat. The old chicken boat. Chicken man. Take them all day long, too. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Wait, that's turkey. That's what I've been doing a lot of. Turkey hunt, guide trip, turkey hunt, make a YouTube video. Guide trip, turkey hunt, make a YouTube video. There he is. Go, go, go. Come here, sucker. That's a good, another nice fish. Summer, 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 summer. You got that mouth open for me. Ah, stop it before I flip the rub. There we go. He is, what's he weigh? Another one about that 10 pound mark. Good fish. Pretty, good and healthy. Eating good, belly full of muscles. That's why they eat the chicken. Get him back. Woo! Side note, I think my perch rod's going off. Boom. Perch, and guess what? That right there, guys. Came back here to get this perch, which is what we're using for bait. Chuck him in there. I think that rod's going off right there. It looks like a fish. I'm gonna deal with, yeah, that looks like a fish. That's laid back. Yep, that's a fish, that's a good fish. People ask out here on the guide trips, how can you tell a difference between a hang and a bite? And honestly, when you're trolling, if the baits go back or the boards go back at the speed of the boat, it's usually a hang. If they go ripping back, especially if the planer board gets buried like a bobber, you got a fish. This one I didn't see go off. You guys will probably be able to see it in the video. 
So I didn't see what actually happened and how it went back. I just noticed when I got over here, it was pulled back and going under. So let's see what we got. Let's see who we got here. What kind of fish? Anyway, it goes. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Might go to the other side of the boat with this one. Okay. Feels like a better fish. The thing when you get one of these Hellcat rods to bend, you got something good. This is our first fish on cut bait. He kind of headed out for deeper water. Come on, baby. I tightened some screws up on this rod. This may be an edible fish. He has totally went. The other way at the boat. Easy. I'm gonna net him. I'm going out on the limb. Going out on the limb and saying it's netable. A net wet. Oh, Jack, come back here. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Come on, come on, come on, come on up here. Come on up here. Whoa. Whoa, don't loosen that much. <laughs> there we go. Drag was a little bit tight. Okay, what we got? There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come back. Hoop. Touch his tail with the net. One man net job. He's angry now. He's diving down. I think I can get two cranks on this and get him. Yeah, there he is. Oh. Shoo, in the net, baby. Good fish. Let's get this one in the boat and see how much it weighs. Like an angry male. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, ho. there you go, big fish, big bait, cut bait people. Biggest fish of the day on a piece of cut bait. All right, there we go. Nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Nice male. Finally got a male. Piece of cut bait. Go back, do some breeding. Pow, there you go, folks. That happened in a flurry. There was a flurry of activity there. Caught a fish, got it in the boat, had perch rods going off, and then another fish. That's the way it can be, especially when you find these pockets of where these fish are. For whatever reason, I think they're feeding on, I think they're feeding on some mussels that are in here right now. Obviously that one liked the cut bait. That was good to see. Our, our bigger fish came on a piece of cut bait, which is awesome. I think we got, what, five fish, four of them on chicken one on the cut bait bigger one came on it not bad fishing we have been out here for maybe two hours honestly um i, I try not to take that for granted that that catching five fish especially two in the teens for a lot of people a lot of parts of the country uh probably i i'll, I'll, I'll dare say most of the country that's good fishing and a a, a a good fish to catch oh yeah there's bigger fish out there there's places that'll produce way bigger fish the bottom line is most of y'all are not fishing in those places most of the country is not like that there are places that have some big big fish the reality is most places don't and that's the thing i get in questions all the time from people and i love y'all reaching out and sending questions why can't i catch a big fish where i'm at i'm catching fish but i i'm not catching any big fish the truth is you probably don't have them not every place holds them depending on the body of water where you're at what the temperatures are like how big the body of water is lots of variables you just may not have them we're blessed to have them you know a, a good population of fishable fish here this is fun fishing uh, we're very blessed to have what we have not every place has that some places have bigger fish some places have more there's a lot of places that just don't have them and uh, i'm thankful for what we're catching here thankful for what we got and uh, thankful for you guys watching well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.